Hello everybody, hello everybody, it's time for a story and I'll read to you. This is a brand new, really funny book. It's called Poco and the Drum. It's by Matthew Forsyth. He has written the words and drawn the pictures. He's the author and the illustrator today. And this is Poco. She's a frog, as you can see, and she has a brand new present from her parents. Oh, check it out. Look at all these mushroom homes. Poco's family lives in a mushroom, too. Simon and Schuster gave us permission to read this story today. I think you'll love it. Here's the title page, Poco and the Drum, by Matthew Forsyth. The biggest mistake Poco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before, like the slingshot. <laughs> that looks so fun. And the llama. Oh my gosh. Did you notice what's underneath the llama? <gasps> That's her parents' feet. The balloon! Oh, she got carried away. <laughs> but the drum was the biggest mistake. Oh, but she looks so happy. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father said her mother. The drum's too loud. I can't hear you. I, I, did you see that he's wearing an apron? I, I think that's lovely. Maybe he's a chef. And mom is quietly reading her book. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother who still couldn't hear what he was saying because <laughs> she's banging on her drum. The next day, her father said, Poco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom and we don't like to draw attention to ourselves. Don't make too much noise. Poco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. Okay, I think it's hard to be quiet with a drum. Oh, there's their mushroom nest. There she goes. It had just rained, and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. Oh, a beautiful green gem. Oh. And it was very quiet. Too quiet. just started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company. But something stirred behind her. Something's moving behind Pogo. Oh, a raccoon playing a banjo started following her. So Pogo hit her drum louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them. But Poco kept playing her drum. It, it, it 
looks like a little band is getting started here. I was very happy to be near the music. Joined in. It's like a dancing wolf. And Poco still played her drum. <gasps> but then the wolf ate the rabbit. And Poco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, No more eating band members or you're out of the band. <laughs> yeah. Cut it out. Can't eat our forest friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, said the wolf. And he meant it. Well, you know, the guy's gotta eat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all the critters. Everybody's joining in. Oh, I like this one. I don't know what that is. And they all started playing again. And soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the party at. I love their outfits. Everyone's so happy. And a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. Following them around, enjoying the music. Oh, another drum. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> and they were all following who? Poco. Poco looks the same every time. She's just looking back, thinking, hmm. What's all this nonsense? <laughs> Poco, your dinner's ready, shouted her father. Oh, there he is cooking away in his apron. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder. What? And louder! <gasps> What's going on? Wait a minute. Where's my kid? Until the crowd swept through the house and carried Poco's parents off into the woods. <laughs> this bull. Oh no! said her father. Oh dear! said her mother. Still reading her book. <laughs> what well, they're carried off with the musical band. I think that's Poco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What, said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, there she is. Look, look, look on the hill. Still leaning everywhere. And no one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they all would have agreed. Oh, that Poco. That Poco. She is one tremendous friggity frog <laughs> with her drum. I love this book. I'm pretty sure I've read this book 12 times now because it makes me so happy. Remember, please don't eat your band members. Have a great day.